Hi, this is Tom of the University of Iowa. I'm just showing you a, a, a video of a surgery where I was operating and I was doing vertical chop. You can see it's a dense cataract. And so I'm doing hydro dissection and I'm trying to lice the synechia between the capsule and the lens. You can see I'm going around, around about 360 degrees to try to just manually lice that. And I'm going to make a little groove, which is sub-incisional here, just to get this crack started. So I'm going to make a fairly deep groove here. And now I'm going to try several times to crack it. You, I know I'm not going to be able to do it in the first time, so I'm going to make it one deep in bed, and then make a little score here. I'm going to try again. I'm probably going to do it three or four times here before finally I get a good enough grip and I get deep enough with the chopper that I'm able to do this vertical chop and have it, have it uh, work very close there but each time I'm making a little progress trying to keep it centered and not stress the zones too much I'm going to do some uh, we call it crossing our swords where we, where we reverse the direction of the force and now I've kind of figured out how much force it takes and and I you can see this little piece here is much easier I re-embed into the nucleus and I'm able to chop that in two now this is a mistake I made right here this, see this piece right here I decided to just leave it in one piece and later I'm going to show you why that was a mistake. I should have uh, broken this into smaller pieces. I just was a little bit lazy here and, and uh, uh, just didn't do the chop, and I should have. Now this other piece I'm going to break into three pieces. I'm going to embed here. I'm using a burst mode. I'm embedding in, bursting. I'm just holding on position two, uh, and then I'm chopping it with the uh, chopper. Most of the work is really done with this um, vertical chopper on the left. It's a side bell chopper. Now I'm going to break this in uh, to final pieces. So we've got it in five pieces. Three of them, uh, uh, three of them are pretty small. One of them is kind of medium, and another one is really big. And I just want you to, sh to show you how much easier it is to bring those small pieces up. So now we're going to add some longitudinal. We're using a lot of ozol. So the longitudinal here goes from about 10 to about 20, and the ozol goes up to about 60 maximum. And you can see we can really make short work of even this dense cataract. We're not using a second instrument here because we have pretty good control of the chamber um, with uh, the fluidics of this um, Centurion system. And really adding the second instrument just in some ways makes things worse, which I'll show you a little bit later. So now all those three pieces just came in so nicely. And now I've got another piece, which is sort of a more um, uh, normal size third. And it's this last piece. And it goes in fairly nicely, too, um, later. But for now, we're going to rotate around. I get the idea. Well, I'm just going to leave that small piece to push the capsule back while I work on the big piece, which is a reasonable strategy. But watch how long it takes me to get this big piece. If I just would have chopped this into two smaller pieces, the whole thing would have been uh, much faster. You can see how here. Um, it's not coming very well. The fluidics are funny. I'm going to take a second instrument here, and now the fluidics get worse because there's a second instrument introduced. Um, I'm trying to get to the apex, but it's just not coming very well. And it's just because the piece was a little big. And this is just to show you the contrast bef between having a lot of small pieces and, and bigger pieces, how much, how much better um, uh, the fluidics is and how much easier it is, especially when you have this um, positive infusion pressure uh, with Ozil. So in this case, it's not a big deal, but it just it just took a little longer. Um, this took probably four or five times as long as those other small pieces to uh, remove. Uh, and if I just would have um, if I just would have chopped it into two pieces, I think it would have been much easier. Eventually, it comes. I've got the second instrument in here. I might as well protect with it. Um, but watch, because I'm using the second instrument to protect, pieces are attracted to the paracentesis, and so little bits are going over to the paracentesis. You can see they're going to the subincisional space, and now there's a piece that's stuck there. Watch what happens here. This is a very uh, instructional. I'm going to move this piece away from the subincisional area, this last little bit, but it goes right to the paracentesis because fluid is going out through the para, so I'm going to have to push it back in there. And so that there's a tax associated with using the second instrument. Well, the lens got in nicely, and um, uh, there really wasn't any trouble. This is uh, Tom Wood, University of Iowa. Thank you very much.